And in our very first story this morning, a lecturer at the School of Medicine and Dentistry of the University of Ghana, Professor Alex Dodu, is appearing before Parliament's Privileges Committee. He'll be answering questions on alleged comments suggesting that members of Parliament were ignorant. Now, some MPs have suggested that his comments in connection with an Ebola vaccine trial in the Volta region he br brought Parliament into disrepute. Parliamentary correspondent Elton John Bobe has more. So uh, he's joined us now over the telephone. So, Elton, good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, Elton, uh, what exactly are we to see happening uh, in Parliament today with, with uh, Professor Alex Dodu coming before the Privileges Committee? Well, it, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're aware about the, the allegations that uh, he's believed he, he, he to have you know, described members of parliament as ignorant when they uh, commented on the clinical Ebola trial uh, that was supposed to, you know, take the whole region. Some member raised the issue on the floor of parliament, Emmanuel Benjamin, member of parliament who go away. He raised the issue on the floor of parliament and uh, applied for the leave of the speaker to someone here before the Privileges Committee to answer uh, for this particular allegation. But according to him, uh, the comments by Professor Jojo affronts the dignity of Parliament and uh, raising his statement on Sunday or said to you, uh, he applied to the Speaker to someone him before the privilege of the other system of Parliament. The matter was uh, was stable from parliamentary consideration. And every member who spoke on the matter supported the member's argument that Professor Jojo to someone before the privilege of to answer for this particular charge. The speaker in his ruling directed the privileges committee to prove into the matter and gave them two weeks to report back to the house. Yes, uh, last week, uh, they actually scheduled him for last week, but we were told he traveled out to the country. So his lawyer, Johnny Colendi, uh, appealed for another day at the house of the committee fixed today uh, for the public hearing into this particular, particular matter. The public hearing, as I have been told, will start any moment from now. Uh, the House also sits at the same time, and then uh, Professor Gildu, together with the Council, will, will be given the opportunity to respond to the allegation. First, the member who made the allegation on the floor, the member who demanded that someone before the, the, the Privileges Committee will be given the opportunity to restate the case before the Privileges Committee, and the Professor Gildu will be given the opportunity to respond. Members on the committee, about 25 of them, chaired by the President of the Council, will then cross-examine him, and that's what I will be given the opportunity to Parliament. Uh, for the House to take a decision on the issue. I see. And uh, it's likely that a decision will be taken today, or it might probably be later on? Probably today. Well, we are the committee sit after the hearing to consider their report. Okay. And then they will present their report to the plenary or the committee of the whole. Mm. The plenary or the committee of the whole, they have the ultimate responsibility to decide on the recommendation of the committee. They can either adopt it or reject it. Uh, so, uh, once they present their, their recommendation, it will be debated on the floor of Parliament, and then after that, and then after that, a decision on the matter will be taken. The decision, when pronounced on it, the speaker will then, uh, you know, uh, take the position of Parliament on this particular matter. So, uh, after the after the hearing today, which is which is taking place any moment from now, they will present their report together with that of Black Lanka. And then the whole house will take a decision on it. Okay. Now, uh, also in Parliament, you are told uh, today happens to be the day where a uh, newly elected member of Parliament for the Talency constituency, that's BT Baba, uh, will be sworn in. Uh, how far with that as well? Well, I've been as a speaker, and I can see BT Baba walking out of the sea. So it's about entering uh, the main uh, premises of Parliament, and then we'll be ushered into the chamber. Mm. Uh, the house is in session now. The, it is the first item on the agenda, which means that once the speaker is done with the, with the procedural issues, uh, the correctional votes and proceedings, the first agenda that they will take will be the swearing in of our president, Tungo Baba, uh, who is the member of parliament elect for the talent of the And then once uh, he's taken to the normality, then he'll be ushered in, he'll be directed to the team, and then uh, that will be all. The, the other issues will be for him to go through an orientation so that he can uh, best there with the work of Parliament. So, as I speak to you, I can actually see him. Uh, he just he just got out of the sea. So, together with some supporters, and then somebody is pushing them into uh, the main Parliament block and then into the chamber 
for that ceremony. Many thanks for your time on News Desk this morning. That's uh, Elton John Robey, parliamentary correspondent, bringing us up to speed uh, with happenings in Parliament this morning.